Set Point U, inform, educate, empower. Do you know how multi-state inputs or multi-state variables obtain their values? A multi-state input configuration, MIC, is used to define the value of a multi-state input, MI, object, or the value of a multi-state value, MV, object. Let's walk through the steps to create a multi-state input configuration. Let's select the Manage button and go to Create. Then, select MIC as the type of object. We'll select MIC, Multi-State Input Configuration. You'll notice that it automatically went to the next available instance, which is number 2. We're going to name it Mode of Operation, MIC. Now we're going to select Create which allows us to fill in the blanks. The default text is off and on. However, for the off state, we're going to change it to say failed. For the on state, we'll change it to indicate schedule off. We'll now select the add button so we can add more text, which will say heating. We'll add another state and call it cooling. And one more state, which will say economizer. So now, we've created five different states of text that can be displayed as the status for an MV object or an MI type object. While we're here, we're going to talk about the lower voltage and upper voltage values. Since we're only using this to identify a status now, we will not need to add any voltages. However, if we were to connect a multi-state input, which is connected to the controller, we would have to define voltages, upper and lower, to determine what state would be dictated by a selected voltage range. We'll save this now, and we'll go to use it in a multi-state value type object. We'll now open an MV object, and add the MIC to this object, which will now indicate the status or state of the MV object. We will save the MV object. This concludes our tips and tricks for today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released. If you'd like more content like this, let us know in the comments below.